What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over all of the brand new crafting systems that are coming to Diablo 4 in season four. Now, this information is gonna be everything that we do know about the crafting system from the dev stream, and this is before the patch notes are officially released. So if there's anything that I get wrong here or anything that gets changed or clarified, just, just know that that will happen come the patch notes or anything before the release of season four with the PTR, etc. But Without further ado, let's talk about what we know. So first and foremost, let's talk about the old crafting system and enchanting system. As you guys know, you come over here to the blacksmith, you're gonna put an item in, you have your upgrade cost here down here. I know you can't see the materials because of my camera, but you have your just your upgrade and it upgrades your items and you're gonna be able to get small enhancements here as you see the pluses and that's all well and good. You can upgrade your items five times. Pretty simple. And then of course we all know when we run over here to the occultist that the enchanting system by far is one of the worst because of a couple reasons. One, of course when we go to the enchanting system and we pick an item, they did give us the chance to see new things, but because of the randomization, the RNG, I don't mind that, but the cost ends up becoming too great. I think I have items here that cost millions upon millions of gold. I think nine, I'm at 10 million gold with this one. Uh, with my necklace so i know there's going to be a cap but all of this is going to be changed in the brand new system so let's talk about it so what's new and what is coming to season four okay we got some stuff here let me just click off so a couple things to understand before we can get into how the new crafting system is working and that is the changes that are coming to the items themselves so as you can see here this is still taken from the dev stream uh, we have the before items and how they are with the brand new changes after. And this is the same exact one, but you're going to see some changes. I'm not going to get too in-depth into why these changes are being made necessarily, but basically they wanted to clean this up so we didn't have to read as much on top of removing a number of affixes that you see here and then a number of affixes that have been applied. We do not know... We do not know which affixes are being replaced here. So like these affixes here are getting replaced. Probably these ones are being replaced as well. And we're getting these ones over here. A lot of these core value ones. And since this is a bone wand of serration, which is for the necromancer, stuff like your main stat of intelligence is always going to be intelligence. You won't be getting other main stats. So they did this and kind of cleaned it up. They're reducing the amount of um, conditions. So as an example, um, something that is like, hey, where you deal more damage to frozen enemies. So instead, we're just getting flat damage, right? Instead of the damage having to be against a frozen enemy, now it is just straight damage. So huge changes here. So this is the before and after. We do get one less affix, but that is because of the brand new crafting system, okay? So we're getting a brand new affix here. And the way that we're going to go about these brand new affixes is through these brand new manuals that they're bringing into the game. The manuals can be found anywhere in Sanctuary dungeons, bosses, overworld, any kind of events, chests, etc. They're just gonna be everywhere. There's no particular place to target farm these. Now, what do these manuals do? The manuals are gonna, ha are gonna be, how do I say this? They're going to be the way that we are going to add additional affixes to our items okay so we're going to be able to add additional affixes to our items now this is all going to be completely random each manual is different and it's set by the category mobility weapons defense resource etc right and each of them are going to have different affixes and then you have them uh in addition to the class as you see here bone splinters being cast twice bone spear being cast twice bone spirit etc so you're gonna find these manuals, but then what do you do with the manuals? How do we augment our brand new items? So we're gonna be coming over to the blacksmith as we normally do, and tampering or tempering is gonna replace the way that we're going to change things. So instead of going to the occultist, we will come to the blacksmith to um, temper. Now, as far as I know, still in the game, you can still come over to the occultist, as far as I know, and you can still take an item and replace one of the 
affixes on it. They didn't stay in the dev stream if just this is being replaced at all. They did not mention it. So I'm hoping to get clarification inside of the patch notes. But as far as I know, you're gonna have tempering at the blacksmith and then you will still be able to come over here and replace an affix now with that said you're not going to be able to replace a tempering affix but you will be able to replace any normal affixes that are on your items right so you're going to be able to replace any of these normal three as you guys can see here come in here and just mark this up so you'll be able to place any one of these three but you won't be able to replace these ones here you can only place them by tempering now how do we temper we're going to come over to the blacksmith. We're going to put our item inside of the, uh, uh, the, what is it? Whatever the tempering thing is called over here at the blacksmith. And then you're going to be able to select a category. All right. Oh, the darken category for weapons here on amulet is not available. So you won't be able to add weapons. You'll be able to add any of the categories that are highlighted here. And briefly, what I am going to do is I'm going to come into the dev stream and I just want to kind of show you guys what happens here. So you're at the blacksmith and you're gonna be able to see this. So you're gonna come over to tempering at the blacksmith. You're gonna put your weapon in and it's gonna show any of the uh, categories that aren't available. So for a bow, you're only gonna be able to do offense and then the, what is it? The specialization there, whatever that one is called. Um, God, it's the little bear trap. Uh, weapons and offensive. So you can select any number of these, right? You can go through and add them and then you can pick one and you picked offensive, you're gonna get a nice little animation here. And then it's gonna give you one of four random ones that are on there. So as you can see, he got marksman damage. So that goes back to our, our uh, manuals here. So on a offensive one for the rogue, for bows, it had four different ones and one of them was the bow weapon damage and that's the one that you got, okay? So it costs very little resources to do when you come in here and you're gonna be able to do this any number of times. Now, this is how any number of times works. So each of these, you're gonna have two tempered affixes that you can apply on ancestral items. Non-ancestral items can only have one that are legendary. So if you have a sacred legendary, it should be only one tempering affix. Ancestrals give you two. Now, each time that you temper, it is going to reduce the number of affixes that you get. And that's why we go from three right here, three to here, which gives us five. With me so far? Perfect. Okay, now, what is tempering durability remaining? Now, if you didn't watch the dev stream, I definitely encourage you to watch it or watch my video kind of breaking some of this down just in a nutshell, right? But this is a little bit more in depth. So tempering durability is like last epoch with your forging potential, okay? So you're gonna have five durability uh, temper durability remaining. Now, what this means is, is that your two affixes that you're initially gonna add, which is the charge and the berserking, right? Those two are free. So when you take this choker and then you add one and then you got charge, it's gonna reduce tempering affixes from two to one. And then when you add a second one and you got damage while berserking, that's gonna take it from two or one to zero, which is why we have zero on here. Now it doesn't take from the durability yet. The first two are free. It does not take away from your tempered durability remaining. Now, after you have applied these and your tempering affixes are at zero, if you want to re-roll the charged one to another one that would be on the manual, right? Like if, it, if you instead, oh crap, I don't want that one. I actually want to do mobility because I want to add more movement speed. So when you go to do that, when you replace charge with a possible movement speed, then your temp dur tempered durability is going to go from five minus one to four. Then if you do another one, it'll go to three, so on and so on until you hit zero. Once you're at zero, you can no longer replace these tempered affixes that you've applied to an item. That is it. Okay, so you get your first two for free, and then your next five are basically just re-rolls to get something that you're looking for. Because of the manuals, these are four different affixes, and again, they are applied at random. So if I want move speed and I spend four out of my five because I keep getting evade and mobility instead, but then on that fifth one, I finally get move speed, then boom, we are good to go. So that is tempering. 
in a nutshell, that's exactly how it's gonna work. Okay, guys, now there's a second part of this, and this is where we get master crafting. Okay, master crafting is how we are going to take these items and make them even better. These items are gonna be able to be master crafted. Okay, I don't wanna talk about that, but we're gonna talk about the master crafting. Okay, this is very, very important. This is something in addition. So instead of upgrading our items five times, we have a brand new system here, all right? This is called master working. This is gonna be the new way. We're gonna have 12 ways to do it instead of five. Now, each time that you upgrade an item, you're gonna get the small boost like you see here, critical strike chance from 5.1 to 5.3, okay? But every four, so four, eight, and 12, you're going to get a huge bonus, which is what you see here on maximum life. So at masterwork upgrade from three to four and then seven to eight and then 11 to 12, which is your final one, you're going to get um, these affixes increased. Now, on those four, eight and 12, only one at random, which is any of the original three, as well as the two affixes that you've applied through tempering, can be randomly chosen to get a huge upgrade. When this happens, the other affixes will not change on those ranks. So rank four, only one will change. Rank eight, only one will change. And then your final rank 12, only one will change. Okay, very important. So you can go through and try to get increases to max life and hope that it rolls. Or if you're trying to get crit strike chance, hope that it just multiplies on there. Now, once you get an item to rank 12, if you're not happy with the big boost that you got at your three ranks, or you don't like how it turned out, you can do it all over again. You can reset it from 12 back down to one and then start the process over. The only thing that you're out of is the resources that you use to upgrade it to each rank. So I think that is really, really cool. So that way, if you just wanna get critical strike chance, hopefully on those big jumps, you get it all on crit. It's completely random. This is unlike our system here in Diablo, where if you go to upgrade an item to five, that is it, you are done. Whatever those affix numbers are, that's what you get. If you don't like it, you have to try to find another item. Because again, as far as I know, with the breakpoints and the items, as you can see here under, um, let's see if I can uh, compare it here. When you see these items at 925, my storm swell, right? It's not max, right? My crit chance is only 5.7 instead of 7.5. So if we were on our brand new mass working, I can restart it and then level it up and hopefully that those numbers will change. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's going to be official. It, those numbers may just be set in, but with the breakpoints, those should change. Okay. So when you're looking at this, this is master working. Very, it's much more easier to understand mass working as opposed to um, tempering. But these are the brand new um, mechanics that are being done, which I think are just absolutely fantastic. We're going to be able to roll and then upgrade and temper and master work a just perfect 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 weapon and this also does not include the actual changes to the greater affixes which is what you see here on our storm swell this is from diablo 3 where in diablo 3 we had primal ancients where um certain all the stats were completely perfect now you can find an item like this on the ground with two perfect stats which is what you see here with the highlights on my mouse these items are not only perfect, but they're increased by 150%, which is why they're so much higher than other stats. These items can only be found on the ground. You cannot mastercraft or temper these items. They can only be found on the ground. Okay, they look like this storm swell on the ground. You can see the Roman numerals here for two, meaning we have two perfect affixes, which is what you see here on this item. So you can get a just God tier item after master crafting and just, you can just get one of these master crafted items. So as you can see here, you can take a original bone wand of serration, just the three stats that you found because it is a legendary ancestral. And then after master working, upgrading, after tempering, adding bone spirit damage and chance for bone splinters to projectiles to cast twice, and then the item that you originally found is actually a big boosted perfect item on two of your stats. This is a huge difference in comparison 
So this is the brand new system, guys. I'm so excited. I didn't want to keep the video too long, but hopefully this explains everything. So make sure to like the video. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions, anything I can help clarify. Let me know if you're excited about this brand new system. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.